It's one of my favorite times of the year, Thanksgiving, okay? Everybody's eating, family's over, you ain't seen in a while, you probably ain't seen in a year or so. And guess what? Turkey time. So I got three things we're gonna be using today. I got a hook, I got a turkey, and I got a smoker, the WSM-22. We're gonna be hanging with turkey. Let's get to it, and maybe this is the juiciest bird you ever cooked. All right, now, so I got a 13, 13 and a half pound turkey right here. Nothing too big. Usually on my holiday with my family, I cook about an 18 pound turkey because we have, you know, quite a few guests over here. But I want to make sure there's enough to go around. But for the sake of the video, nothing too big. So this might be perfect for you. So what I've done, I've already brined this turkey. I've gone and put it in my briner bucket. I used that meat church bird bath or bird baptism that's what it's called right there so check it out you can go to meatchurch.com and get some of that for yourself or you can use any brine you want or you can make your own okay no problem don't make it harder than it can be keep it simple throw it in that brine i got it in there for you know maximum 24 hours but i did mine for about on it and that ensures that the skin when you smoke it it's going to turn out crispy now let me show you what i'm going to do today i got some cajun injection because i always like to inject all my birds even if i brine it might not be necessary sometimes because you're already ensuring the juiciness by brining the bird but i like to put the injection in just for an extra season because i love flavor okay and you should too um also we're going to be using this meat church holy voodoo right here all right i got some duck frat spray for a little binder for the bird and the skin and i got this lane's barbecue this q nami now i really love this flavor right here you don't want to use anything with some sugar on it um sugar tends to burn real fast so i'm not using anything with sugar and i did check this out i don't see any sugar on the back so this asian flavor mixed with this cajun flavor I know that's gonna be bomb, so I can't wait to check it out. And then of course, the important thing, I got this hook right here. Now I got this off Hunsaker Smoker, I'll leave a link in the bio. And also for the occasion injection, hey, I'll leave the you know recipe in the description so you can check it out. Just look at that, bring it to a boil, cool it down, let it cool down and let the salts melt and then you know get your injection needle ready. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and inject this bird. All right, now you want some gloves, right? And you wanna be able to hit this bird all around. Now for your Cajun injection, you might want to go ahead and give it a little stir because that butter and everything is settling. And what I wanna do is go ahead and pull that up and draw it in, right? You don't want anything with a lot of chunks in it because if you do, it's gonna be hard to push it out. These holes are kind of small. You can use a bigger hole if you want, but that's just bigger holes inside your meat. And I don't want to poke too many holes in this bird, okay? I want to go right here in the back, go to the deepest part of the breast. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit it about two ounces at a time and pull out, okay? Now I want to hit it at another angle. And you'll see that thing puff up. Now I got about half of that in that breast, and I'm going to go over here on the other side. You see I'm not breaking the skin on that. And being that it's got holes all around that, it's kind of getting all through that meat, okay? And that's good enough for there. We'll get the rest of that. That's why I got this long needle. Gonna get you some more injection. Right there, give it a little stir. All right, now, I wanna come here on the legs. Now you might have to go through the skin, but I'm gonna go through the back right here, okay? Go through on the legs. Some of that butter's coming out, that's okay. We'll use that part of the binder also. Hit it on the back. Go under the legs. Hit a little more, all right? And then we wanna hit in these thighs right here. Let me go on the, right here on the bottom right here. Get it out in here. Now it might be a little difficult. Pull out, just like I said, all right? Do the other one. All right, and then you wanna take your turkey wings, okay? Everything needs to get injected. Boom, oh, you see that squirt in me? Get a little more injection. All right, hit your other turkey wing up. 
be careful because these holes, depending on the needle you have, mine has a lot of perforated needles. So you want to be careful. And then what I want to do, I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to kind of go under here, under the skin. I'm not taking any of this skin off. I like it. The more skin, the more crispier it is. Give it a little more in the breast. That may be some parts I didn't get. Do the same for the other side. This is gonna have a lot of injection. And that should be good. Go ahead and set that to the side. Now, whatever, let me turn that around for you. Whatever butter you done had, go ahead and rub it all over there, okay? Get that butter on there. It's okay. You might make a little mess. Now, I'm gonna take off. Maybe I'm right handed, so I'm gonna take off. Oh well, I use this, okay? Took off the wrong glove. But I wanna take this, take some of my seasoning, okay? And of course, we wanna season it inside. Get all you can in there. All that seasoning. Get some of this Qunami over here. Cause this stuff is gonna be good. Yeah, I got a mind, I got, you know, people playing softball and everything around me. You know, softball park families, that's okay. We'll make it work. Now, this is a butterball turkey. And the reason I like the butterball turkeys, I'm not affiliated with them or anything, because the way they trust this turkey in the back with the skin and the legs stay together, I don't have to worry about tying anything. The only thing I'll do is put the wings under the bird, okay? So before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and season the rest of this. So I'm gonna take some of my duck fat spray, okay? I'm gonna hit it, shake your spray. Get away all the way around. I'm gonna pick this up, turn around. Okay. Make sure I get the front of the breast. Get the front, get the wings. And that's just for my binder, okay? Now, what I wanna do, I wanna hit it with the light coat first, all right? Hit it with that. Hit it with that meat church Cajun season, this holy voodoo. This is some good stuff, guys. All right, I just wanna make sure that top of that breast on the front right here. I wanna make sure all oh, this is pretty on the front right here. Get on your wings, all right? Turn it over. If you go a little higher, it won't be clumped up in one spot. Okay. Get on the wing tips. Get on these wing tips right here. Now I'm making a mess, but you know, I'll clean it up. Get on this skin right here in the front. Right there, pat it in a little bit. Get it on the back where the legs are. Guys, I'm trying to work with my right hand and my left hand, shaking with my left, and I'm right-handed. That's okay, we're gonna make it work. Now, I got some of the Qunami. Now, I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna start on the back, all right? Hit the hit the Qunami. Just want a little light dust into that to get it over there. Just put a little extra flavor in there. You can make your own rub you want. I make some of my rubs, that's okay. But uh, today, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel. So, you know, there's some good products out there. But I think as a barbecue guy, yeah, it's good to, you know, have your own line of rubs. I keep mine saved in my Apple Notes for when I want to, you know, make my own stuff. But for the sake of the video today, we are going ahead and we're going to use some new products uh, that may be new to you, not new to me, but may be new to you. Okay. Let's get that rub all over there. A little messy, but it's okay. It's going to get eaten up. Now, I'll finish the top off with the dusting. Might have to put some more. Hope I didn't miss any spots for right now. If no, if so, I'll stand it up when it's time to do that. Now, I'm gonna get another pair of gloves on. Okay, take that one off because I'm gonna work with both of these hands. Now. All right, so get that out the way. I don't wanna spill any of that. Get that top on that butter. Okay. What I'm gonna do for this bird. Now, I'm gonna have the breast sitting down. I've smoked ribs hanging 
and nothing burnt. So I'm real curious how this is gonna do. I've never hung a turkey before. We're gonna, hopefully it comes out and doesn't burn. I don't think it will. The way this, um, you know, these smokers like this work, the heat circulates around. It doesn't directly burn everything underneath. I'm very curious. Hope you like the outcome. Let's go ahead and get this hook in. Now I'm gonna go through the bottom, okay? This little hole in under here. Let me find it. All right. Tuck that skin like that. And then, I'm, like I said, you know, that trussing in the back, that's what we're gonna use and let it sit up, okay? Now you're wondering, Bruce, the wings is flapping. That's all right. Go ahead and tuck those wings. Right that. And then, now I'm gonna take out the right glove, okay? <laughs> we're gonna hit it. Anything that might've rubbed off might be moving. Now I can hit it a little better. Okay, boom. Hit it with the Kunami. So that stuff rubbed off a little bit. Now I'm able to work around with it. Should have probably did it like this the first time. That's okay. Get the Kunami on the back. Miss, wherever I miss, I'm putting it on there. And whatever meat church I missed, putting it on there. Now, that joker is ready. Get this standing right here again. I think it's ready to go on the smoker. Now let me show you what I did. I got the smoker all ready, okay? Got me some lump charcoal. I'm using hickory today. You don't wanna use any wood too strong. Oak might be a little strong. Mesquite might be a little too strong for turkey. Turkey is very sensitive. You wanna use a mild wood. So hickory is pretty good. And I'm combining that today with cherry wood, all right? So I got my lump charcoal in the bottom, got my wood chunks on the bottom of the lump charcoal, took my uh, grill gun and I lit those charcoals, got it ready, went on and put the middle of the smoker back on. All right, now I got this door right here from Lava Lock, um, actually from Island Outdoor, barbecue smoker mods, that's barbecue smoker mods.com. And this is the Lava Lock door, okay? I got a link in the bio where you can get that from. And of course, I got my rack already inside. I got the Hunsaker rack hanging. And today we're gonna be running this smoker, all right, around 300, 325. That's where I wanna keep it. If it jumps to 275, that's okay. But this is turkey, okay? It's just like chicken. You don't have a lot of fat in it. You're gonna, you don't need to render any fat. We're gonna cook it like that, all right? So let's go ahead and get this thing ready to hang. All right, so now we got the smoker open. Now what I'm gonna have to do to get this bird in, I'm gonna have to take this off. And we're gonna have to put this right here in the middle. And while I got that off, get it right here, and then I'm gonna hang it right here. And drop it down. And that's all you gotta do. Move it over right here. Now you wanna get this lid closed, okay? That way the fire won't come up. Gonna adjust your, you know, dials and everything. It's gonna pop up real quick, but it should settle out. If it goes to 350, that's fine, but it's gonna go back down eventually. And we're gonna come back and check this after a while, let it roll. All right, guys, so it's been about two and a half hours. So let's go ahead and look at this bird. Now, I haven't based it or anything. I wanna see what this looks like. Now, of course, I've peeked a few times. That's all right, that's Pitmaster privilege. All right, so I'm gonna take this hook. I'm gonna bring it out for you guys. Hope I'm not in the camera too much. All right, let me go ahead and grab that hook. Get it under there. There it is. Okay. And let's see if I can, hold on, let me put that back on there. <laughs> like I said, I haven't ever hung this one before. I need to actually do it from this side, guys. All right, here we go. Go ahead and hang, get, grab it right there. Take that off and let's look at it. Oh man, it's starting to get a good color. You see, like I said, it hasn't really burned at the bottom or anything. You can see where that juice ran and it kind of went, ran that down there, um, knocked some of that rub off. But what we're gonna do here, all right, I'm gonna switch hands. 
real quick. All right, I'm gonna hold that up. I'm gonna take some of this duck spray, duck fat spray. All right, and I'm gonna help it get a little more that crispiness. Hit it up like that. Hit it at the bottom. Help some of that color. And that's all right, right there. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do, go ahead and switch hands and again. Kind of hard to do this and then film, but we're gonna make it work. Make sure my bars are sitting on there good. I wanna drop the turkey in there. All right, and I'm gonna take this, um, my Thermalwork smoke, all right, and I'm gonna put it down in his breast. All the way down. Get it off that hook. Close the lid, because why? Fire is coming up. Right there. Hopefully, if I go down here, I'll knock it down a little bit. All right. And that should be it. We'll see how it looks. Maybe we'll bring it off when it's done and let it rest and it'll, we'll get to cutting it. All right, now look at that. That is 166 in the breast, okay? 165, 166. The only reason I'm letting it come up a little bit is because the dark meat is sitting right at 164. 165 so I know the white meat's gonna come up a little bit and that may be in a thinner part of the breast I took my um, thermo pen and it was like 164 in another thicker part of the breast So I want that dark meat to come up above 165 close to 170 to ensure that no blood runs out or anything like that And then we'll go ahead and take this off with tenant We'll let it sit about 30 minutes and it'll be ready for cutting so we're slicing um, I'm surprised and what this done three hours that that is perfect for you know time saving looks like i'm gonna be trying an 18 pound bird on this and i'm i'm ready to see what that'll do i'm guessing about four or five hours but hey new way of smoking a turkey it didn't burn or anything like that and you know next thing through is let's get this off um in a minute and then i'll meet you inside we're back inside we're ready to cut this bird up everybody's hungry I've been letting it sit for at least 30, 45 minutes, let it cool down, tinted it with some foil. Now what I did, why, as soon as I brought it off, I hit it with that Texas pepper jelly, apple cherry habanero glaze. And what it did is gave it a little shine, uh, made it look a little better for presentation wise, and it's gonna taste good, I'm sure. So let's get this baby carved up. So I got my Nakano Santoco chef's knife right here, okay? So we're gonna use this to see how well it cuts. Just gonna cut some of that breast, cut down right here. All right, man, look at that. Woo wee. Oh, man. So, look at that, it pulls right apart. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, that's juicy. All that flavor in there. Get another slice. Just like that. Bring that over there. Oh, had to dip it in that juice. Let me take this over here so you can see what this looks like. Man, oh man, look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's juicy right there. I wanted to pull it apart. Boom, look at the skin, comes right apart. Looks good. Now what we can do, we can go ahead and get this out of here. Set it to the side. Take your turkey. Put it right here. Just like it's tradition. You don't have to leave it stand up. Let's look over here. Let's look at this right here. Look how well that nice slice through that. I'm pretty impressed. Woo wee. Juice coming out of there. Look at the glisten. Mmm. So give this a try if you have a WSM or any kind of barrel smoker that allows you to hang meat. Or if you just want to use the recipe, the Cajun injection, the rubs, and just smoke it similar in the same way, same temperature, but just 
set it traditionally, or you can do a spatchcock, you can do that. I have other turkey videos I've done in the past. You can check the links, I'll provide them for you. Or look at, you know, my playlist, they'll be in there. Hey, also, you're looking for this Nakano Santoku chef's knife, or any knives, they got a 30% sale right now. I'll provide the coupon code down in the description and on the video. Hey, till next time, hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Toothpicks. We're gonna dig in. Mm. Mm.